All right, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Uh, we're going to continue on with our grammar sections on on Arabia. Uh, the last couple of classes we had, you know, we talked about the Arabic noun, what we call what ism, and then we talked about what the verb. We also talked about a little bit. We talked about uh, pronoun. So today we're going to talk about what we call detached pronoun and attached pronoun. Okay. Uh, what I have rolled up here on the board so far, and we can go over these here. You know, we're talking about detached pronouns. We know pronoun either going to be detached or attached. And most of the pronouns are always in a state of wrath. So when we say a state of wrath, we're talking about what ending? Um, done. Done, right. Most of them, there are some exceptions. We need to keep that in mind too, but then most of the time they are in a state of wrath. Okay? If we look up here where we got detached pronouns here, <clears throat> We know we, in Arabic, we're always talking about what, the plural, the dual, and the singular. That's very important. Whereas English, most of the time, is just singular or plural. But Arabic also have the dual form also. So these are detached pronouns here. These are detached pronouns goes together sometimes with other words, right? Uh, nouns themselves. Okay, if we see right here, third person, singular, we say this is what? Whom, whom, and the dual for that is what? Huma, huma, dual. So we're going to look at some examples also in the Quran. You know where these are uh, examples are actually denoted in the Quran as well. Okay, okay. So the dual form is huma, and then what is the plural? Okay, is what? Whom. Okay? So, who mean what? Would it mean what? Them. Well, I hear you say it's a city. Them. Them. Okay, what you said? He. Okay, you mean he. Okay, whom? He. He. Okay, now, it can mean them depending on how what? How it used in the sentence. The more or less is whom is he. Okay? But you have a question? The plural is them. The plural is them, right. Okay, right. The plural is them, right. Okay, let's look at the uh, third person masculine. This is third person masculine. Okay, now what would be the third person feminine? Let me take this off right here. This is feminine, I'm sorry. Okay. So what would be third person feminine? Yeah. Here. Here. There are some imperfection in the board, like board, like this little dot that there. That's really not part of the word. Okay, so we say that is what here, here, and then the dual is what huma, okay, and the plural huna, okay, huna. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the note right here is that the dual for the masculine and the feminine are what. The same. same. The same. In fact, it's probably like that throughout we'll look and see in a minute. Okay? Let's go to the second person, masculine. Excuse my back. Okay, and this would be first person. Let us put the critical. Okay? So, what do we have for the second person, masculine? <coughs> and T. And T. Alright? Okay? Well, what about the dual? Um, it's a tar right now. Tuma. What we got? Tuma. Now, notice I didn't put the uh, fat heart right here. Sometimes I put it, sometimes I forget to put it, but we know we got an A right here, so we won't elongate that. So. Okay. All right, and then what would be the second person masculine plural? Antum. 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 Okay. All right. 
So, then the second person, feminine. We have what? And T. And T. Right. And T. Right. Look at the difference between masculine, masculine here and feminine. We got what? And ta and and T. So we got the ta right here. Not the ta or Buddha, but the regular ta, right? Okay. This is in the, this is some imperfection in the board, but this is Sakun over there. Okay? I have a question. Yes, ma'am. You said and ta, would it the wouldn't it be a fat hand to the gotha? Which one? On the second person masculine? Second person right here? Wouldn't yeah. it be what? Anta? Would it be a fat hat instead of gotha? Yes, yes. Right. Right, so that would be anti. That is true. Okay. Okay, back to the dual form here. Notice again that for the dual form for the feminine is what? Identical or the same as the masculine. Okay. And then the plural form for the uh, second person feminine would be what? This is two dots here. Antuna. Antuna. So we got A N, right? T U N N A. Right? But see that if we spell it out phonetically, English wise. I don't get it. You don't get it? Which one? This one? Yeah. Okay. What is it about that you don't get? Like, how do you get that pronunciation out of it? Oh, you get an a. Okay, let's do this. Like this, un. See, right? And then we got t. U. Okay. And then we got n. N a. Right. Okay. So that's how we get that. <clears throat> that sound or that pronunciation. Do we see it? Everyone see that? You see it? Nadim, right? What is it? Your name? Mm -hmm. Nadim, okay, right. Okay. So this is Antun, Antuna. Notice you hear both of those noon or noun. <clears throat> I mean, on the end sound. Antun, see that? Tuna, Antuna. Okay. Okay, now let's go to the first person. Okay, what would we have for the first person? Notice that this is, this is. Right, and notice though now, listen to this. <clears throat> you don't say, and nah, like, high spill. You don't say, a. In a a, right? You just said Anna, right? Mm -hmm. See, this is the only different. Most other word, Arabic words, you you have to pronounce this Anna on the end, but in this case, you don't pronounce that extra a. It just Anna, Anna, right here, not Anna. Okay, and then this one, this is new one here. This is. What? Not new. Not new. Right? Okay. And then this this is for the dual. And then what would be for the plural? What would be plural? We have here. Not new. Not new also. This is boy. Not new. Um, what's that first letter right there? Right here? Yeah. This is new. Okay, I thought that was a new. This is new. Okay. Now, let's talk about some quality. That, that masculine and feminine, um, masculine and feminine, first person masculine and feminine? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, let's talk about these structures right here. Notice how these, and you probably, most of y'all write some of this down anyhow. 
So if you got this chart right here, let's look at some of these structures of this. I'm going to give you some points that we need to keep in mind. So I'm going to erase this. What we need to remember. Two. All. Second person. Pronoun begins with here we're gonna say the letters. As I'm writing this, if you look at the chart you got, you'll see that fit the chart you got. Ends with letters. So the point three, all dual pronouns <clears throat> end with the letters me with fat hot, fat hot and ass. Point four.
schools in Me. Okay. Me with in us with Sakum on it. But we know we can write it without Sakum also. <clears throat> Okay, so these are, the, these are the points right here. If you look at your chart, where we just got to draw it right, <clears throat> you'll see for a de detached pronoun structure, <clears throat> all the third person pronouns begin with okay, the letter ha, right? Ha. Okay, and the point number two, our second person pronouns begin with the letter anta. Anta. And point three, <clears throat> all dual pronouns end with the letter mean and addict. Mean, fat high, and addict. Is this matching up with your chart? If you look at it, these points? Okay. Uh, number four, all masculine second, third person plurals ends <clears throat> with the letter mean. And notice I got me with Sukum on the board, but it, you don't necessarily have to write Sukum on the last letter. Because we know we just always understood that that last letter always is understood to be what Sukum on it, if there's no other vowel. <clears throat> and point five, all feminine second slash third person plurals ends with the letter noon with what? Shada. Okay? Now, let's look at an example. I'm just going to run. But I got this. I'm going to erase this portion off now. Okay. Here we 
to look at this verse right here from the Quran right here. This is verse, uh, what, what, what chapter is this verse in? You never know. <laughs> Wait, what verse? Surah Al-Fatiha. Surah Al-Fatiha. Right. Chapter 1, Surah 1. Surah 1, verse 5. Exactly. So this is a, uh, chapter 1, verse 5. So let's just look at this for a minute here. Okay? Here we got... Okay, right. Okay. Now, if we look at this, look at the ending of this particular sentence right here. We say that this sentence here ends or in a state of inflection of what? Why is that? Because of the down, right? This is what we remember from the other classes, right? Better keep this in mind. Okay. <clears throat> Where is the pronoun up here in this particular sentence? And do we have one? Do we have two? Do we have three pronouns? Or we just have one? What? Where's the pronoun? Hmm? Where, where's the pronoun in this particular sentence? Okay. Need a little help? <laughs> she said it? Iyaka. Iyaka. Okay. And why did you say Iyaka? Uh, is it Lana? Lana. Okay. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> okay. Because this means what? You alone, right? Yeah. You alone. So it's talking, so this is the pronoun, right? What we got here in the cock at the end here. Yaka. The calf, yeah. Yeah, the calf. The calf. You see it? Okay. You alone. And then we had the word Nabudu. What? What Nabudu is? Nabudu. Yeah. To pray, I think. Yes. To pray. Well, not to pray, but to worship. To worship. Okay? So we're saying you alone. Or some people might say to you, but you alone. Look at this. Na Budu. Na Budu. Okay? We worship. How do we get we worship out of here? Look at the prefix. Na. Because na means plural, right? Right here. A bottle. Which worship. So we put the prefix in front of it. We got na budu, which is a prefix, which is also meaning what? We, you alone, we, na, we, and then budu, worship. See it? <laughs> okay. And, right? Wa, iyak again. So the pronoun would be here, this phrase, and again. For underlying the pronoun. So that's an attached pronoun. That's, a that's right. This is a yeah. this, this is an attached right here. The this is the attached pronoun right here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then we have the word what? Nas ta in. Okay. What does it mean? Hmm. Seek help. Seek help. To seek help. To seek help. Okay? And then we got not in front of it also. So it's talking about we and then we have it here. Well, so we said then that this noon right here is in a state of what? Roth. Because of the end on that. Right. So Roth means what though? What does it mean? I can't quite hear you. Lift. Lift. What? I think I'm using that like in an informal sense. Okay. So, Roth normally talks about what? Something that is in what we call the what nominative state, right? Something that names something. Something that names something. Right? Nominative, nomenclature, mean to name something. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. All right. 
So that's a good example there. Let's do, um, let me see here. Let me give you another sentence here. This is going to be.
Okay. Let's look at this sentence here. Okay. Start up at the top of here. What do we have here? I'm going to check that on the mouse, right? 